Ajan Persian Saffron Company is presenting the Saffron Greenhouse Cultivation Method. Saffron cultivation includes three parts, before the greenhouse, inside the greenhouse, and after the greenhouse. Some items are prerequisites. In the pre-greenhouse section, these items include location, onions, shelf, floor, cooling, and humidifier. In the greenhouse section, these items include onion purchase, silvering, the activation of bacteria, warehouse, harvesting flowers, and drying. After harvesting saffron, the onions in the ground should be fed so that we can have suitable onions in the following seasons. At this stage, we enter the third part, after the greenhouse section, which includes land preparation, planting, irrigation, feeding through soil or foliar application, and pest control. As agriculture shifted from traditional to industrial and various machines and infrastructures such as chemical industries, fertilizers and pesticides entered agriculture, farmers in modern agriculture turned to one of its methods, which is stratified cultivation. Saffron also entered this type of cultivation due to its price and good market. The question here is, is modern cultivation the same as aeroponics? No. In modern cultivation, nutrition is through seed vigor, and there is no root nutrition. That is, the heavier and stronger an onion is, the more flowers it has at the end of flowering, so we will have more amount of saffron. Therefore, the final product is a result of the initial strength of the onion. There are five steps in the general cycle of the greenhouse method. 1. Providing a greenhouse or indoor location in June 2. Preparing suitable onion in July and silvering and disinfecting it 3. Onions flower from the 1st of November to the beginning of December 4. Onions should be returned to the ground after flowering for feeding and growth 5. After the growth stage, the onion is ready for the next year and is harvested in June the life cycle of the saffron plant includes two stages of awakening and sleep. The real sleep period, which is in May, is the best time for purchasing and moving the onion. The second stage of sleep, which is from July to September, is called the apparent sleep period of the plant. At this stage, although the plant is asleep but any blows can affect the plant's potential for flowering. Another period, which is the stage of awakening, begins in October when the plant wakes up and begins to flower in November, which may last until early December. That is the main part of economic performance in planting the saffron plant. After harvesting the flowers, the bulbs become smaller and from March to April, the growth stage stops. The point to be noted is that onions are of two types, mother onion and daughter onion. The mother onion is the onion that the plant feeds on at the time of flowering and will produce the amount of flowers based on the number of tubes or flowering buds. Each mother corn produces between 4 to 6 new onions, depending on the amount of nutrition, which is called the daughter corn. Gradually, the mother onion decomposes and becomes a daughter onion. These daughter onions grow again the following year and produce new onions in the next cycle. Saffron onion is a corn that is covered with a straw and a number of flowering tubes are located at the top of the onion. The weight of onions is very important in stratified cultivation. Each onion weighs between 0.5 and 60 grams. Onions are valuable to us that have enough potential to achieve flowering. Usually, onions under 8 grams will not be able to flower. 10 grams onions are usually flowering and economical. If the onions are the same size and above 12 grams, we will have better performance. The stronger the onion or the heavier it is, the better is the result. The weight of the onion also affects the flowering tubes. The heavier and the healthier the onion is, the more flowering tubes and the higher the harvest from the onion. Saffron onion components include bud, petals, stamen, 
stigma and root. But these buds are flowering buds and are very important to us. The more of these flowering buds, which depends on the potential of the onion, the better the result. The lateral buds will be removed during the silvering stage. Petals In the petals, there are three sepals and three petals that most people know as petals. The petals are used to make herbal tea. None of the components of the saffron onion are discarded and all parts are consumed and are economical. A stamen. The flag is used as a spice for coloring in the food industry. Stigma. It is the most important economic component of onion. Gray stigmas come out of the female part. The red part of bitch is the best part of saffron. Root. The wrinkled part at the end of the onion to which the roots are attached is the mother onion core, which after harvesting the crop has transferred its power to the daughter onion, which creates the mother onion for the next season. To get the full version of this tutorial, contact our experts via email or WhatsApp.